How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome to another great game in the world of tanks Xbox One Edition. Today I'm going to be playing in the Type 61, the Tier 9 Japanese medium tank. The only reason I bought this thing back was because I noticed that I was 85% in damage standing in it, so I'm trying to 3 mark it, but it's uh, quite difficult to 3 mark as it sucks dick for a medium tank. One. It's got no concealment. It's got like 27 concealment for a medium tank, and that is just appalling. Two, it's got like 390, I think, view range, or is it 400? I don't know. Um, it's one of those two values. Use coded optics regardless because this thing's camo does not let you spot efficiently because, yeah. Um, and then I have vertical stabilizer on it and a gun rammer. I believe, or is it just vertical stabilizer and vents? It might be vertical stabilizer and rammer. I don't know for sure. But as you can tell with the loadout, I'm using uh, the 90 millimeter on this gun. Not because I don't have the top package. I just the 105 millimeter is very STV one-ish. It's got the syndrome where you aim where you want to shoot, and the shell does wherever the f whatever the fuck it wants. And you'll notice that when I use this gun. As opposed to the 105mm that does 400 alpha every shot, I'm doing 240 every shot, and uh, I can shoot every 4 seconds. So essentially, it is a faster Jag Tiger 8.8, but with no armor, and better view range, but less camo. So, I know these tanks are going to probably fire on the run at me, so I'm just trying to hide my tank as best as I can. I get two free pens into the T57 Heavy, and I notice this KV-4 making his way across the field. I try to put a heat pen into him, and it magically goes in right over the hill. You're going to have to use heat pretty reliably in this thing. Watch this shot. Okay, shot on the 268 version 4. All right, can I put another one in? Uh, you betcha. <laughs> because RNG. All right, that was lucky. I'll give you that one. I did not want to take any damage there, and I'm actually surprised I did not with the hiding centurion in the back. Uh, this thing's biggest weakness is other medium tanks and light tanks because anything with I don't know a gun can hurt this thing <laughs> So really anything this thing goes goes against is Just not good because granted you can out TPM the fuck out of them I don't know what this light tanks doing I do realize he's on the map right next to me But he wasn't shooting at me, so I kind of let him go and I'm lo reloading uh, AP rounds right now. I'm fucking biff one into the tracks. Go me. And then I biff one not on his tank. So that sucked too. I think about running my way up the hill to my teammates. But then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be a little aggressive. I've got DPM. I still got full health. Nice shot by me there. Holy fuck. Put another shot into the Sheridan. And I just keep following this guy because I know I have phenomenal DPM compared to him. Even if he was, or is he using the 152 derp whatever bullshit cannon? And I put a finishing shot into him, letting me ram him for no damage. Which is fine, which means I conserve a little bit of my HP. You gotta be aggressive in this thing if you want to make this 90mm work. Which makes it a little scarier. But, uh... If you use it to snipe, you're going to be very disappointed very quickly. I'm just continuing to be aggressive here. Get the kill on the Conqueror just to finish him off. This thing's uh, chassis traverse is not that terrible. It, if a shot bounces off you like that one just did, do not expect it to happen again. I'm completely fine taking damage from this Centurion as I know I can shoot him twice. For every time he shoots me once, even with Hesh rounds loaded in his tank, he probably... Well... If he did load Hesh, I, I would probably have a few dead crew members right now. And he probably would have gotten two high rolls on me, so that would have been bad. But luckily he did not. And I got away with doing what I did to him there. So I tried to track this uh, tier 10 Russian 277. And uh, it doesn't work out very well. I heat him through his turret. I'm like, okay, I can use this building for cover from that uh, object 205. Or 205? 705. There we go. And then I just heat through his fucking side armor like it's nothing because, well, it's nothing <laughs> compared to the heat, which is like 275, 279 on this thing for the heat penetration. And then the AP penetration is like 219, I think. So that's pretty depressing. You won't be firing AP a lot of the time. But if you are, then, uh, well, let's just hope you're shooting the side of an American tank. 
or pretty much the side of any tank, really, and you'll be able to pen them. But if it's the front, and you're looking at lower plates and such, then you're going to want to load heat, because 219 is just not a lot of penetration in tier 10. Need all the help you can get, and oh, it is the tier 10 705. I didn't think it was, I thought it was the tier 9, but moving on, pretty much the same tank, just a scarier gun, um, and more armor, I think, I don't really know. I auto-lock the IS-7, which is something you never want to do, and then I try and hit him with, in the turret with heat, doesn't work out too well, I should have aimed at the ass end of the turret, try to get a free pin on this 430U, and it just doesn't work out, and I don't think I get another pin, nope, the accuracy fails me, and I tried to snapshot him, so... I think that's the game, or is it? Am I gonna get to kill the arty? I don't know why I shot him there. Maybe it was for driving into me, or maybe it was, it was yeah. Maybe it was because I was being childish and I drove into him. I don't know. But this thing, if you have to take it to the front lines, make sure you go with your heavy tanks and pop out when the enemy fires, or right after the enemy fires, and you'll be able to put two shots into them. Before, you can, before they can have a chance to fire you. Of course, this is assuming that it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, and, well, I guess it wouldn't be one-on-one, -on -one considering you'd have to have support, but if by chance you have to take damage in this thing, you can side-scrape in it. It's just very difficult because of its, well, no armor. And, uh, yeah. If anyone hits the turret anywhere, it's going to probably pen you, because, again... It's armor is ass. And I... Oh, I don't think I actually get a pen here. Nope, they finish off the arty. God damn it. Oh, well. Oh, I should have skipped right to the end there just because... To avoid watching me drive around for another 30 seconds. But that's fine. As you can see, the damage counter on this thing is pretty damn high for a 90mm gun. But with this game... I get a... Oh, I had my time, times 5 bonus on. That's phenomenal. Um, yep, that's a nice tanker mastery for this thing. So, you don't have to excel. And yeah, probably with the 105mm, you wouldn't have to um, keep your tank out uh, longer. As opposed to, like... You have to get more damage with the... You have to get more penetrations with the 90mm, right? So you're risking more of your tank more of the time. But at the same time, it's more accurate, and you shoot faster. So, yeah. DPM, in this case, is king. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and I'll catch you next time.